Hey everyone, welcome to the Cineformer Movie Show, keeping you informed about all things cinema. I'm Alex Haina, and today I'm going to be talking about something that a lot of moviegoers are very passionate about, and that is the outrageously high prices for movie tickets and food at a movie theater. Uh, a lot of people are very... A lot of people rag on movie theaters for charging so much for food and tickets, um, and rightfully so, I think. Uh, popcorn is something like a 3,000% markup for for popcorn. 3,000%. So, uh, in, a, in a sense, the people are justified for, for being upset about the prices. Uh, however, the movie theaters are also justified in charging that much. <clears throat> Uh, and it's not because it's not because movie theaters don't make money off of ticket sales. I know that's a common misconception, um, but they do. Uh, it ver- definitely varies movie to movie. The it it depends on the the studio's contract with the movie theater chain, but uh, typically, typically not always, but typically, a movie theater chain. On a movie's opening weekend, a movie theater chain will make 20% of the movie's ticket sales. So, if a movie makes uh, $100 million opening weekend, uh, 20 million of of that will go to the movie theaters. And that sounds like a lot of money. $20 million sounds like a hell of a lot of money. But, it's really not. Um, The studios don't... The studios don't say they don't take the million dollar, the hundred million dollars that they made opening weekend off of that movie, slice off twenty million off the top, and distribute it evenly amongst the movie theaters. That's not that's not what happens. The each individual movie theater chain will make twenty percent of its individual ticket sales for that movie. Um, so when it comes down to it, it's not really a lot. I'm gonna get into into that more but uh the uh the example we're going to use the movie we're going to use as an example for the sake of this discussion is uh american sniper uh because it's the highest grossing movie of all time in january uh it's shattering records like crazy uh uh not of uh, let me let me let me rephrase that i American Sniper is not the highest grossing movie of all time. It is the highest grossing January opening movie of all time. So it's it shattered all the records for any movie that has ever opened in January. It it's destroying records across the board. Uh so we're going to use that movie because it's currently the most popular movie out right now. Uh and the uh the theater chain we'll be using for the sake of this discussion is uh regal cinemas because they are the most popular um most popular and biggest uh movie theater chain in the country so uh uh, like i said typically opening weekend movies will make movie theaters will make 20 percent of the movie's ticket sales so let's say um at the average ticket price is like 12 usually 10 to 15 dollars so we'll say 12 dollars um so 20 percent of that is two dollars and 40 cents uh american sniper made in its opening weekend across the country the whole country not just at regal cinemas across the whole all of the movie theaters in america made i have it pulled up here 89.26 million dollars that's a lot of money um, and it was at 3,555 locations. So you divide all of that, you divide 89.26 million divided by, what was it? 3,555. You get $25,100 per theater. And that's not really a lot. Um, I mean, it is a lot. It's definitely a lot for a movie, for any movie. But especially for a movie opening in January. Um, but twenty five thousand one hundred dollars at each theater. Uh, 
it, it, it's not really a lot, but I'll I'll get into that in a second. Um, so, Regal Cinemas has... What was it? 574 locations across the country. Uh, we're going to assume that, for the sake of the discussion, that Regal Cinemas played American Sniper at every single one of its locations, which I can pretty much with certainty guarantee you that it did not but just for the sake of this discussion let's say that uh american sniper played at 574 regal cinemas locations that's every single one so we take the twenty five thousand one hundred dollars that it made at every theater across the country and uh that's each theater across the country including amc Cinemark, etc. Um, so let's take that twenty five thousand one hundred dollars, multiply it by the five hundred seventy four theaters, the Regal Cinemas theaters, and that comes to fourteen million four hundred seven thousand four hundred dollars. So total, the the money, the money made. Not the money that Regal Cinemas made, but the money, the total amount of money made off of American Sniper at at Regal Cinemas, not by Regal Cinemas, at Regal Cinemas, is fourteen million four hundred seven thousand four hundred dollars. Now that's how that's completely ridiculous. Uh, I don't think Regal Cinemas alone accounted for that much of the movie's revenue in its opening weekend. But again, just for the sake of this argument. Um, only be uh, only because it didn't it definitely didn't open at every single location it's not a huge blockbuster movie at least it wasn't expected to be um so uh we're just for the sake of this discussion we're going to say that regal cinemas accounted for that much of the movie's revenue so let's take 20% of that 14 plus million so 20% of $14,407,400 is $2,881,480. So that's cut down a lot. That's that's 20% of that. Now at all that's at, at all 574 locations. So now you have to divide that 2.8 million uh approximately 2.8 million Divide that by 574. Now, that's two two million eight hundred eighty-one thousand four hundred eighty divided by 574, and you get five thousand. That's not right. <laughs> let's uh, let's redo the math here. Da -da 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 -da. No dead air. Da -da 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 -da. We don't want silence. Just keep talking. Just keep talking. Just keep talking. 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 What do we do? We talk. 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 Ho, 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 ho. I love to talk. All right. So two two million eight hundred eighty one thousand four hundred eighty divided by five hundred seventy four is. Oh no, that's right. That was right. Okay. So that's $5,020. $5,020 total. Total. Made at each Regal Cinemas location. That that each each location made off of American Sniper. The entire weekend. $5,000. The movie total made almost $90 million. But... Regal Cinemas made five thousand dollars at each of its theaters. You see what I'm saying? It's not. It's not a whole hell of a lot of money. Um. That's, it, and that's American Sniper, one of the biggest box office hits, the biggest box office hit of January ever. And Regal Cinemas only made. In this example, only made five thousand dollars off of it. 
at each at each location. Total, they made what two million two point eight million. But that's that sounds like a lot of money until you factor in to include the fact that they have to split it amongst each location, and that's five thousand dollars. So, think about this: Regal Cinemas has to pay all of their employees off of one movie one movie on its opening weekend the biggest box office hit of January of all time they make $5,000 per theater location they have a lot a lot of employees that work at a mo- at one movie theater they have managers they have regional managers they have uh, concession workers they have uh, ticket rippers they have people that work at, at the box office they have people uh, cleaning up they they have security they have a whole a lot of employees that they have to pay with just well not just five thousand but off of one movie five thousand dollars you get what i'm saying um so it, it does go up after opening weekend it goes up to like 40 then 50 then by the last couple of weeks, it's like at 80%. But you also have to think about the fact that the movie is not making nearly as much money as it does opening weekend. So by its eighth week, 80% is like $100. Maybe not, but I'm being I'm being uh, hyperbolic here. But you get the point. It's, they don't, theaters do not make a lot of money off of ticket sales so that's why they charge so much um i think i think it's justified um like i said though not uh not every movie is uh will will not every movie will they make 20 percent there are movies typically bigger movies but uh, there are movies that they'll get zero percent and that is pretty that pretty much sucks because for bigger movies they have to pay more employees to work to account for the bigger crowd it's a it's a whole big thing but um yeah so i i think i got my i think i got my point across um (sighs) jeez this video is so long I wanted this to be a short video, but uh, if you watch this whole thing, I appreciate it. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something. I'm not the best at explaining things and articulating what I want to say, especially to a camera. But uh, I hope you got something out of this video. I I hope you stuck around to the end. Um, And if you did, thank you very much for watching. Uh, Click subscribe if you want to stay informed about all things cinema. Um, also like the video, share it if you think somebody you know will enjoy learning about movies. Um, until next time, this is the Cineformer Movie Show, keeping you informed about all things cinema. Thank you for watching. Take care.